uh, write the converse, inverse, and contrapositive and determine if each is true or false. Um, if it's false, then we're going to give a counterexample. So, acute angles have measures less than 90 degrees. Acute angles have measures less than 90 degrees. So, let me change this to um, a conditional statement. Or, if, as long as you know what the conditional statement is, then you can just go ahead and start writing um, the converse, inverse, or contrapositive. So, acute angles have measures less than 90 degrees. My conditional statement is um, if angles are acute, then they measure less than 90 degrees. My converse, if uh, angles measure 90 degrees, then they are acute. Let me just write them all out. Inverse, if angles are not acute, then they do not measure less than 90 degrees. So again, remember, inverse is when you um, just negate uh, the hy hypothesis and the conclusion. You're going to make both of them um, the opposite. So if angles are acute, then the inverse would be if angles are not acute. Okay. And then the contrapositive is when you're going to do both. You're going to you're going to um, interchange them, and you're going to negate both. So, if angles do not measure less than 90 degrees, then they are not acute. So this right here I know is a true statement. If angles are acute, then they measure less than 90, right? So acute angle is anything that's less than 90, right? And then if angles measure, or you know what? I made a mistake here. If angles measure 90, sorry, not measure 90, but measure less than 90, then they are acute. Is that true? If angles measure less than 90, then they are acute? Yes, that is true. Okay. The inverse, if angles are not acute, then they do not measure less than 90. That's true. So if it's not acute, then it's either a right angle or an obtuse angle. Um, if it's a right angle, then it measures exactly 90. And if it's an obtuse angle, then it has to measure more than 90. So if it's not acute, then it's not going to measure less than 90. So that's true. And the contrapositive, if angles do not measure less than 90, then they are not acute. So again, if they don't measure less than 90, then they can't be acute. Okay, Then it's either going to be a right angle or an obtuse angle. So this is also true. And remember that if the statement is true, then the contrapositive is also going to be true. Okay? So that's it for this lesson. Um, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Educated Out.